Hey, and welcome. Today I'm gonna to briefly show you how to set up AWS infrastructure using code as infrastructure with Terraform. And in particular, this example, I'm just gonna show how you can use Terraform to spin up EC2 or a virtual machine in AWS. So for today, I decided to give a demo of AWS just because I think this is the largest one and the example to set up a virtual machine in AWS, I think is something that a lot of people, if you haven't done, have probably heard of. So I hope that's familiar and I'll also get into some of the competitors, but the general gist is the same, is that you're just provisioning resources in the cloud for others to use in an automated fashion using code. All right, so let's get started actually like making infrastructure as code. So come up to your AWS console and hover over and you'll see it says Cloud Shell or the little command prompt image or icon. It's gonna open this up. It's gonna tell you, hey, you got a gigabyte for free on AWS. And so, yeah, this is just kind of a nice way to get started in the environment without configuring everything and all that good stuff. Um, obviously those things are necessary, but just for a demo purpose, I think this is great. So we'll see, I have a couple things. I have the AWS CLI installed, which is fine. But what you're interested in is setting up code. And so I have a, a repo here. I have all the different cloud providers. We're gonna use AWS in this example. And so we're gonna say git clone, and then we're gonna copy what we have there, so you see if we say ls, we're gonna list all the files. There we go, our code is in there. So we're gonna say cd multi-cloud terraform, right? Great. ls, you have major cloud providers in there like we saw in my GitHub repo. So let's cd into AWS. Main.tf, super simple. And we can take a look at that. Right, so we have an AWS provider, US East resource. This is just an example. And so this is a Red Hat image. Uh, you'll see it up here. And I'm gonna run the micro scale. So that's just how big the machine is. So I'm grabbing a micro machine as just a demo example. Uh, obviously you could scale these up as you want. And you can also do things really like budgets and set up a limit on how many resources people are using. There's a lot of things that you can do with this, but we're just gonna show how you can actually just set this up as an example. So we have Terraform installed here. So we're gonna say Terraform init. And you'll see it's grabbing the latest kind of like repo. So HashiCorp slash AWS. That's just the registry that keeps everything on AWS's side, you know, integrated with you. So we have Terraform init. So that's just starting a project. And then we're gonna to wanna to say plan. And so it's basically gonna plan what's gonna happen. It's looking through our commands and then it's saying, you know, okay, I guess you're gonna provision these things. Are do you sure you don't want any of these applied? <laughs> right, so there's so many options. And I think that's where the customization comes in for large scale organizations is that, you know, you've deemed it once okay. And all these settings would be set up from one script, which is super cool. Um, and you can also customize things after, right? So that's what this is saying is like, hey, I'll get you started. And then after you can play with all the little levers and widgets that uh, people would want. So that's Terraform plan. It's just giving you a plan and a blueprint of what is gonna happen. And then let's say apply. So we're gonna take that plan and then we're gonna apply it. And that's Terraform language for let's actually do something. And it's like, yes, I want to do something. So we're gonna say yes, and then AWS is creating an image of, or an instance of our image. So that image is the Red Hat machine, and you'll see it's being created. I think this takes about 30 seconds. So if we actually go over to the AWS console, I'll show you in real time what's happening. So we have Terraform working on the cloud, and we're gonna to wanna to go to EC2. All right, and what we should see is one instance running, right? Right, and so the end of this instance ID is three threes, easy to remember. And if you look over here, one, the apply is complete, and there are three threes. And if we take a look, it is a micro machine. It's still initializing because we just set it up. 
and it's got three threes. So this is that instant state, and they, if you were to click on this, it would have all the different configurations that we saw in the plan that we kind of negated and just went past. Um, so yeah, that's we've set up an infrastructure from code. Now let's take it down. I don't really want that, or it's not safe or something. So let's destroy it. Terraform destroy, we're gonna run that. Sure. We are saying, yeah, let's destroy. And now it's gonna destroy. And if we update here, it should be gone. Voila, it's destroyed. It'll take a second for it to kind of finalize, but you get the gist. I say apply, spun up a virtual machine. I say destroy, I destroyed the machine. So I hope this is a good example of how Terraform can be used and just really the efficiencies you could potentially build in your organization if you are utilizing cloud, which chances are if you're at any place somewhat large, you will be. So yeah, uh, I hope this was useful. All right, so that was a really basic example with AWS, but I think the point more is that setting up infrastructure as code is potentially a really good way to scale your company, especially with so many people. Like you provision a set of resources and tools for people to make a web app, an API, or whatever service it is, and they're off to go. You have one set of code you ran, you've trusted that code, it's been vetted security-wise, and you're good. So. The same principles apply to all these cloud platforms. And so the ones I have listed as the biggest images are Google Cloud Platform and Microsoft Azure. Along with AWS, these are by far and away the largest cloud providers that you'll see. The bottom three are kind of fun and cool. So I would suggest these for more personal projects. I doubt, I've never seen it at a company people actually use the bottom three, but I really do like them and I think if you want less levers to pull of the big cloud environments like AWS, GCP, or Azure. These are great options because they kind of reduce how much stuff you have to sift through, uh, but also really good practice for Terraform as all of them are registered in Terraform in the registry. So yeah, if you're too intimidated to be in the big cloud providers, I would suggest one of the bottom ones just for personal projects. And as always, feel free to shoot me an email, like subscribe for these videos, and yeah, just if you find anything interesting or if I can help anyway, just reach out. Thanks.